Hi YouTube world, I am back with another video. As you can see, I have the Louis Vuitton Keep All Bandolier size 60 in front of me. I've had this bag for almost a year now and I bought this pre-owned from a Japanese uh, auction site, a reputable one. I want to show you what I can fit inside. I'm heading out for a weekend trip to Houston to visit some family. I'm packing pretty late as it is pretty warm there. And of course, the, a quick review after almost a year of using a bag like this. So let's just jump right into it. So this is how it came when I bought it from the Japanese uh, vintage retailer. And this, it's very compact. And this is how I usually store it. Again, this is a size 60 in pre-loved condition. So there are some marks on here which I don't really mind just because it shows character uh, and it's been well loved. Other than this, it's in pretty good condition. There's no, you know, holes or tears or anything. And you can see the Louis Vuitton made in France. And the bottom of it is still really gorgeous and it's patinaed really well. The hardware is still really shiny and bright. I did take leather conditioner and uh, applied it all on the Vichetta leather just to make sure it's nice and soft and conditioned so it doesn't crack, especially when I live in a drier climate. And of course, looking at winter, you've got the heater on, etc. So I will probably do another layer of condition at some point. But like I said, I've had this bag for almost a year and it's uh time for another condition if you take a look at the stitching and whatnot everything is still very gorgeous the other thing i will point out is that this bag this bag is from if i'm reading this correcting 1996 and obviously we know louis vuitton they don't make their canvases like they used to anymore um, the biggest complaint that I've heard about the older versions of the Louis Vuitton canvas is that they're much thicker and they're quite heavy, but I feel like this is not too heavy. I will post in the notes be below just to uh, show you what this bag weighs empty so that you have an idea. But that's also the other charm of it, right? It's much thicker, it is heavier, but you can see what great condition this bag is still in <laughs> even though it's from 1996. Isn't that crazy? And then I'll just show you the inside of it. No stains whatsoever so it's in really good condition and pro tip if, if you ever buy a vintage um, Louis Vuitton or just vintage bags in general you make sure to ask the retailer whoever is selling it, if it has a smell. Because vintage bags, if you ever go into a vintage score store and there's that musty old smell, you don't want that with your bags. And it's really hard to get rid of. And I've bought a couple of bags without asking that question. And it's, I had to sell some of those bags because it's the smell was so strong that I just couldn't take it. Some of the, I did some research and you, they say you can get rid of old odors in various ways, including just wearing it out and about. But I tried doing that and it was no avail, so I had to sell the bag. So I made sure when I bought this bag that I asked, hey, it had any strong odors. So when it arrived, it did have a little bit, but as I started using it and I threw some charcoal bags in there just to get rid of the very faint odor, if I'm being picky about it, um, it went away. So let's go ahead and go right into what fits in here. So again, I'm going to a three and a half day trip to down to Houston to visit my cousin. There's a number of things I want to bring, but I'm trying to keep it bare essential since this is the only bag I'm going to bring uh, on the flight with me. Here is the stack of my clothes. I brought a couple tank tops, a couple t-shirts, underwear, etc. And I brought a pair of leggings. So pro tip, wear your heaviest clothing on you if you can. So I'm bringing a pair of jeans and usually jeans are quite heavy. So I'm wearing that onto the plane Something like leggings, much lighter. So I would recommend that you put that into your bag so that you're not lugging around something really heavy. So that's going to go in there at the bottom, just so it give, provides cushion for the rest of my stuff. The 
thing I do want to point out is that obviously there's no structure to this bag. I know for other bags out there, other key balls that people have been using, they get inserts for it so that it has some sort of shape. I think for key ball 50, key ball 45, there's plenty of options there that uh, is at pretty decent prices, like 30, 40, 50 dollars. But I found one or two for key ball 60 and it was like a hundred dollars. So I don't know if I want to make that purchase right now because I'm using it just fine. It doesn't look as nice. And obviously for this video, it doesn't look as nice, but it's very functional. And I also don't want to add any more weight to it. But well, I will plan on doing a little bit more research and see if what I can find out there that's lightweight and will give some structure to this bag. So moving on. I'm also bringing a pair of pajamas and I'll link a, I'll show you a picture of this, but I just discovered this recently from Target. It's a two piece set, a short sleeve, and then it comes with super cute shorts that go with it. And it's called Stars Above, and it's the one that is super stretchy. I'm the kind of person that sleeps hot, so I don't like to have too much clothing on. And I also don't like getting tangled and then sort of getting strangled by pajamas. Um, so when I found this, I was pleasantly surprised because it's so stretchy and you never feel like you're tangled when you're sleeping. So I literally bought like six or seven sets of this so that you know, in case they discontinue it or something. And I think they cost only like $25 at Target, but when they go on sale, it's like $20. So it is super, like you don't need to spend a lot of money on pajamas because this, this is it. So I'll link it below and then show you a picture of a model with it on. And then I also have this um, wool alpaca sweater. I'll show you a mod shot of it that I got from Vince. And it's just super soft and comfy. Um, so that's going in there. It's very lightweight. It's a little bit bulky. Uh, if I had a smaller bag, I'd probably use a vacuum seal bag just to make it smaller. But I don't have enough stuff to fill the bag anyway. So I, I'm just leaving it um, nice and puffy for now contradicted myself. I also mentioned that you want to wear your largest pieces or your heaviest pieces on you if you're going for a short flight and you want to carry the least amount of things. I just got this dry cleaned and I get really finicky about wearing stuff that needs to be dry cleaned onto the plane just because there's a million people on there. Uh, <laughs> I don't like getting my nice stuff all dirty, so to speak. This is going to create a little bit of structure to the bag. So as I said, I'm visiting family um, and usually when I go to visit and stay at anybody's house, you don't ever show up empty handed. That's just how I was raised. So I went out yesterday to the local grocery store near me and got some Nashville um, Goo Goo Cluster. I got some local coffee. Usually that is a really popular option. And this one is from uh, Nashville surrounding area. So that's a local coffee. And then here are two local barbecue shops. And I didn't want to bring barbecue sauce just because it's liquid and it's glass. These are dry rubs and my cousin is really into barbecue stuff with their crazy contraptions of, I think the green egg or whatnot. But yeah, so they're really into that. So I got them this, so I, I'm sure they'll enjoy that a lot. So that's all going in here. This one's metal, so I kind of want to have it sit on top of clothes so that the tin doesn't get dented. Here goes the coffee. And then the two sauces are the two spices are going in there. Then I've got my shoes. These are not Stuart Weitzman's. Um, I just got these pair of really cute sandals from Amazon. And they were like $40 and I have terrible feet. I also have very wide feet. So I got these and they were very comfortable to walk in, very comfortable to stand in. Uh, so I'll make sure to link that down below. My biggest pet peeve about other people who do pack, um, pack your suitcase or pack with me videos is that they put their shoes directly into their bag. And it's just like, why? Especially unless they're brand new shoes. But even if they're brand new shoes, you want to make sure you have a 
bag for your shoes whether it's just a regular grocery bag or a nice dust bag like this but you don't want your dirty shoes be touching the rest of your clothing that was my little rant about that so that's going in there again if you have heavy shoes like sneakers wear them on the plane so that you're not putting the something heavy into your luggage so that's going in there Then I've got a curling iron. I just got this one. Um, it's from Hot Tools. I had another Hot Tools uh, curling wand. That one died on me after two, maybe three years of using it. And I really like Hot Tools. So I decided to get another one. And this one's really cool, right? So I curl my hair so that it can be wavy or it can be curly, right? So you want a one inch or maybe a 1.25 inch barrel. So I found this one at Ulta. And look at this. Isn't that cool? So you can basically, and you, you twist it to make it 1.25 inches in terms of the barrel and it clicks and it stays on. And then if you want to go for, you know, smaller curls, you twist it and then it shrinks and becomes a one inch barrel. Isn't that cool? So I just got this. I'm gonna test it out and see what it's, what it's like. Then I've got my makeup bag. And I won't go into too much detail, but I don't wear a whole lot of makeup. And if you haven't seen my other video where I pack for my grease trip, I go into a lot more detail about um, skincare and makeup and how to pack for it. So definitely check that out. I'll link that down below. And by the way, if you're liking this content, please go ahead and uh, hit that like button so I know I'm doing a good job. And of course, provide any feedback in the comments so I can make better videos for you guys. So that's going in there. So this is my toiletry bag. It's not very full and this is my Longchamp one that I really like. And I'm only going for a couple of days so I don't have too much stuff in there either. So that's going in there. Actually, you know what? I put it on the left hand side. It seems like all my weight is on the left hand side so I'm going to switch that around. This is my temporary setup, um, my filming, filming setup. So forgive me if I'm shaking a little but I'm definitely working on getting more permanent solution so that um, the filming situation is going to be much better. So I have a few more items to kind of stuff in there and I should be done. I will be bringing my laptop. Oh my god, this is disgusting. <laughs> I need to wipe this down. But I will be bringing my laptop because I will need to do some work uh, while I'm out there. When I say work, I'm going to work. <laughs> so that's going in there. And I'm going to put it on top of, I'm going to take this out and put this on top of the big fluffy sweater so it has some cushion since I don't have a case for it. I'm not worried about it breaking because that thing is, I want to say, four or five years old now and my company needs to give me a new one. Let it break. So you saw in my previous video, I just bought this Fendi baguette and I am going to take it on the trip with me. I'm also going to bring my wallet on chain, my Camellia uh, Chanel walk. I also have a shaper, but I took that out so that it can flatten out. So if we go out to dinner and something, you know, a little bit more fancy in Houston, I'll have my wallet on chain with me. So I'll put it in the dust bag. Okay, we're almost there. Put the wallet on chain in here. My Valentino belt that's reversible. I've been loving this thing. I've been wearing it everywhere. So uh, I will bring that along with its dust bag. Actually, you know what? I'm wearing jeans. I should totally just put this on right now. And lastly, just my cosmetic um, makeup bags and catch-all that I usually put in my purse. So that's going to go in the Fendi. And I'm just going to toss it in here. Here is my dress up your purse wallet with all my cards in there. So that's going in there as well. And then lastly, my Dior sunglasses. And voila. It's a little lumpy. Maybe I'll re rearrange some stuff. But that's all everything that fits in there. So I forgot to talk about pricing. So I bought this off of a Japanese retailer, right? The vintage store. 
Uh, I know I'll insert a photo of what it actually costs right now. I think it's over $2,000, but I bought this vintage for, I want to say about five or $600 and such a good deal that includes shipping. So that's like what? 70% off. I'll do the actual math, but it's close to 70% off, which is crazy for a vintage bag. That's better quality. Yes, it's used, but you know, pretty happy with my purchase. So hopefully this was helpful. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I want to cover topics that will help you adult easier. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can live your best life and less than retail. See you next time.